Hello everyone, it's Guillaume from Sunfall Interactive and today I'm going to show you how to sculpt your metahuman uh, in the brush without breaking the, the rig. So going from something that looks like this to something that looks like this. Okay, so how do we do that? So first we have to do metahuman. Uh, we try to create a metahuman that is as close as possible to the final model that we want, but uh, metahuman is pretty limited in terms of what you can do right now. So just try to get something as close as you can. So then it's a classic pipeline where it comes into bridge here, and you can then export it into your uh, your Android engine uh, project. Okay, so once you're here, you have her here, and we just put her in the scene here. Uh, you'll notice that the textures are not uh, base, we modify them a bit. So if we go back to the base here, so this is what you get once you export from MetaHuman. So what you need to do is to add to the blueprint of the MetaHuman, and then we can start playing. Uh, we head to the face, which is there. We look for the face here. Okay, it's here. So click it, open it. So you see that we have all these blend shapes that we want to keep, and also we have, of course, all the bones in the, in the face that we want to keep. So, how do we export that? So, we need to create a static mesh. So, you click here on make static mesh here, and then you export it. You can call it. Uh, Metahuman static mesh. Alright, so you do that. And of course, you open it here. Just here. So, here what you need to do is basically to disable all, all the LODs. Uh, so, you do LOD 0, and the number of LOD you put 1, apply changes. Save it, and now all the LODs are gone. So from here, what you do is you have to export this outside of Unreal Engine. So you choose Asset Action, Export, Export it to wherever you like, you have human static mesh here. Just leave everything by default, and Export. Okay, so once you've done that, you will need to go to Maya here, Take the, the metahuman that you exported, which is a metahuman static mesh, and import it here. And it should show up here. So now you need, we need to do one little step in Maya, which is to clean up the mesh. So you go to Mesh, Clean Up, and then you click on Non Manifold Geometry and click Apply. Alright, so now your mesh is ready to be exported as an OBG, because you will need it as an OBG. So you export selection. Make sure that you choose OBG export here, and uh, here put everything to off. So we can call it base head OBG. And we make sure to call it something that you can recognize from the base one. So the Maya at the end, I want to make sure not to forget that it spins through Maya, and you need to do this step. Okay, so once it's exported, you will have your OBG here, and now you can import that into ZBrush. So in ZBrush, you can sculpt everything, be very careful not to touch the eyes too much, as if you sculpt them, sculpt them sorry, a bit too much, uh, you'll probably have some uh, issues when you import it into, uh, into Unreal. Okay. So once this is done, we'll get an OBG out of ZBrush. And this OBG, you have once again to go through Maya to re-export it as an OBG. So put it into Maya. This is the new, the new mesh. Select it. File, export selection, and same as before, make sure everything is off. And then export it. Make sure you know that it's from Maya and export selection. Alright, so we can go back to Unreal Engine, and this is where the Mesh Morpher plugin comes in. I put a link in the description below. Uh, it's an amazing plugin that allows you basically to create more targets and much more uh, inside the, the engine. Alright, so you take your base face and click on Mesh Morpher. So this menu shows up. So you have your face here and all your blend shapes here. So, 
first thing first, disable build data. You need to do that, otherwise some LODs will break when you try to create a new morph. So just disable the build data. Save. All right. Now what you need to do is basically take the two OBJs that you created, the base one, which is similar to this face, and the new one that is coated in Maya, and this will create a new plane shape that will allow you to morph to the new face that you have. So how do we do that? Sorry, it's fast. So you need to go to Tools and create Morph Target from OBG files. Click here. This menu shows up. So from the base OBG, you have to choose the base uh, OBG that you created, and that is exported from Maya. Uh, so it's uh, this, no, sorry, uh, this one, the base OBG that you exported from Maya. Open it. And most object, you have to put the target. So the new OBG that you exported from Maya after you've sculpted into the brush, uh, which I put here. Open. Make sure that axis wire is ticked. Create the new morph name. You can call it base uh, morph one. Uh, so the best option here is usually to leave that as default and I. After many tests, I found that the best option is to put the smooth iterations at 8 and the smooth strength at 1.2. Okay, so once everything is ready, you can click OK. Here is a new way to build. It will create a bend shape. Basically, what it will do is create a bend shape from the base OBG to the morph OBG, which will appear in the morph target list. Should take few seconds. All right, so it's successful. If you have a no valid data uh, issue, uh, make sure that this is ticked, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so now you go down the list of your morph targets, and you have the face morph one here. Uh, so a little trick to make sure it works before you bake it is uh, on my metahuman here I've added a little piece of code so in the event graph uh, at the end you can set the morph target I just put it as a variable because if you want to do some tests it's more convenient and set it to 1 uh, so when you go in the viewport here you can test your morph target by putting the name here so if we Go back to my face morph one. You can put it here. And when I press play, I have my new my new face. Um, it's not baked yet. It's just that the new morph target is set to one when I press play. So you can test it here and see that everything works. The rig is still working fine. By the way, I'm using the IR kit uh, live link to animate, so it's full live here. Okay, so we can pause, after we check that everything is working fine. And we go back to the mesh morpher, and now what we can do, and what I advise you to do, is to create a duplicate of this skeletal mesh, not to lose it. After, after you bake it, you can't go back. So I call it face mesh uh, baked. Okay, open it. It's perfect. So you go here, close the mesh morpher, and you open it again with a new, uh, the new mesh. Here, then you click on the little page, which will open the menu. Here. So what this menu does is basically it allows you to bake uh, the plane shapes that are there uh, into the skeletal mesh. So it really becomes uh, the new, the new mesh. So you have it here. So what we want to do is put our face morph to one, like this. You can see the difference between before and after. And then we press bake. For a metahuman, this will take a, a long time because it has to update all the, the blend shapes to offset it so it works uh, with the baked version. Okay, so once it's done, you should see this little message that the bake was successful. So just press OK. You can close the mesh morpher, and now we can check our new face. 
which has a new morph on it by default. So now you can check this working by selecting your blueprint and in the face you can put your new mesh here. And you have your new face and now we can test it with live link to see if it works. So on the left is the old one, on the right is the new one. So press play. And here you have it. Oh wait. So here I need to remove the face morph one, otherwise it will be applied uh, on top of the the mesh that you baked. So now it's good. You can press play, and there you have it. You have your metahuman fully customized inside the brush with the correct rig, and everything is working. You can use all the amazing features that metahumans offer: the face rig, the crazy good eyes. Everything is working perfectly. So a huge thanks to uh, leave you from Discord who made the Mesh Morpher plugin, which is absolutely amazing and allows us to yeah, reach a super high quality of characters in the rig from a metahuman on a custom mesh. Thank you all for watching. It was Guillaume from Sunfall Interactive. We are a new studio based in France creating a kick-ass RPG for next-gen consoles, so feel free to check us out. Bye!